Hey everybody, okay, here's another video about XMP actually working on the Asus 790 Hero on Linux, okay? So I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to show you up to where I was able to get it, okay, or at least stable. Um, I got it to, you know, 5,600 there from the 4,800, that's the default there. You can see I'm running, you know, the MID code showing me that if I run CPU X, um, got a memory. You can see that's really registering that properly there. Okay, here's the type of memory that I'm running uh, for reference. And let me show you step by step here. So on the BIOS, you go there. Uh, you can see I have. 0 0.70, I mean 0 0.703, the, the, the BIOS version. Um, you know, the, the total RAM, especially this, this part. I'm using all four slots, all four, okay? 32 gigabytes each, and now it's running up to this. I could have actually pushed this a little bit more, but I'm lazy, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys if you have the ASUS z790 hero with this cpu and that much ram maybe you can create a video or show me on reddit or something uh, about how you did it on your on your end so i can test it on my end on linux at least um with X, X, xmp1 uh, enabled so i got up to there i actually tested 6000 uh it was not stable enough for the amount of work that i do so I started going down by here in six in 5,600. I have not had any issues whatsoever. So here's the um, the setup. XMP1, you know, it, it automatically selects this. There you go. Um, the only changes that I did were the following. So on the, on the ASUS multi-core enhancement, I removed all limits. Okay, then if you scroll all the way down, you see that you can set the RAM uh, frequency. I set it to, I mean, you can change it here for multiple ones, but the, the one that I'm using right now, again, 5,600, uh, the cores were AI optimized, the, the performance cores and the efficient cores there. Um, if you scroll all the way down, all the way down that same page, you, you'll see advanced memory voltages. Right there, uh, oh, I forgot, right. So I test it, I test it, fix a 6,000. It worked, it worked, okay? But the apps, not the system, the app this time were failing. Uh, like I KD in live, fail, games on, on, on Steam actually crashed. Um, even the video was going out and the, the NVIDIA drivers were going on, out and in like it like the the car video car was turning itself all off and stuff the system was still stable like everything came back either i didn't get a weird blue screen you know the, the windows thing uh the, the system never crashed never froze there were no kernel panics or anything but the apps were not stable enough so i went down to five five thousand eight hundred it was the same thing but less I was having less issues and they were very rare, but I was still having them. And because this is the work computer that I use, uh, I went down to six, 5,600. It's working great. So anyway, once you get to that advanced memory voltages, there's a specific one, PMIC voltages, how it's managed between all ramps. You need to set it to buy per PIMC for each one. Okay, by default, it will be in auto. And I believe auto is actually using the sync all PMICs. You can't do that if you have four slots. They, you need to do it by per PMIC. The moment that you do this, everything is going to be working great. So yeah, I, how did I do the test? It's, it's not the typical test that you see on YouTube where if the system loads, like the, if the desktop loads, oh yeah, it's working great. <clears throat> no. What I did was I went to Steam. I, I tested the whole thing on uh, 1080 and 4K just to like 
make everything stressful for the computer and for the RAM. I did the benchmark of Cyberpunk three times. I did the benchmark of uh, Shadow of Tomb Raider uh, two times. I played Portal like for 30 minutes there. Um, I rent, read RDR um, to, I don't know, maybe like an hour or something. Like I started playing with this. Meanwhile, I was recording with OBS. Okay. Then I did like a one hour of uh, Counter Strike, everything 4K, everything there, and no crashes, no crashes whatsoever. And then I did a, um, a rendering with KDN Live for, I would say, almost an hour of like one hour, almost an hour of rendering a, a video there uh, using all uh, cores, no problems whatsoever. If I had that left at 5,800, it would have crashed. KDN Live would have crashed immediately. And for the games running with the benchmark, the benchmark would have never finished. It would have looked like everything is stable in 5,800 or 6,000. But the moment that you actually start using the RAM a lot or force it to, to, to be used a lot, that's when you start getting the, <clears throat> the sorry, the problems. I'm, I've still got the flu. So yeah, that's uh, at least you have an idea there or a base idea on how you can use XMP now. Um, you can try to play at 6,000 and keep on going or 5,800 and, and or, like uh, playing around with the voltages there. You might need to lower them or uh, up them a little bit. And, and, and I leave it up to you guys to actually finish based on this, the testing. But for me, the most important is not oh, the overclocking part. It's all the stability. And, and every time I do one of those changes, like the moment that I got it to 6,000, it looked like everything was working. I was able to actually run DMI decode. The system did not, this time, by doing it like this, it did not um, freeze or anything like that. I didn't have to reboot, a force a reboot or anything. But the moment that I actually used heavy stuff, that's when the, the problem started with the app, not with the system. Um, so if, if you have a better, con better, um, speed there let me know i can test it i can validate if it's actually stable enough for this system again let's go to cpu x here um it's a uh you know 13900k um here you can see that course um it's the z790 hero okay you saw my 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 bios version there Here's the memory, okay? Uh, just to give you an idea. And, and uh, there's no, um, the, the NVMs are not, they don't have any slowness or anything. Like they're running at 6,600, 6.6 .6 gigabytes or, or faster. So yeah, that's it. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So if you have the same motherboard, at least you have a base on how you can use the XMP and push it a little bit more until maybe Asus gets a new firmware or somebody uh, uh, gets to a certain um, configuration on the BIOS that we can actually further use or at least get it to 6,000, which is a, the idea there. Thank you. Bye.